crash space. What a wonderful place to be. Cold, desolate, silent, and, well, tractor beams flying across my head, bringing in element. Oh, not you again. No, right, seriously, no, go to sleep. Thank you. Without my friend here telling me that I've got to do some pointless task, which doesn't really mean anything to me, my first objective today is to head for that. Now, I don't know if I can tractor beam myself up to that. If I can, then that sort of helps a little bit. If I can't, then I've got to build a epoxy thingamajig it. Now, I know I spoke about this in the last video. I've got to destroy this first. I'm going to destroy all this and then use that to hook myself up to there. That should be the only thing I need to do for a minute. Also, thanks to Terra Games for sponsoring this video. And now, on to Astro Colony. This is why you got to clear your little planetoid sections on your own because, you know, the drills don't often do all of the work. So you've got to do it yourself. It's just unfortunate, but that's the way it is. On the plus side, more iron ore. All good. I need iron ore for construction stuff. And there we go. Right, fantastic. Now what I need to do, pop in here. I can put my dirt in a pile, put my quartz in the pile. I've got some ice as well. So another thing I'm going to be doing, obviously, is I need to extend my solar field so I make, you know, more, more power. So what I need to do is, because you have to have the wire behind the solar panel at all times, I have to create another row. So this means that where this is, is that's where my solar panel won't sit. I have to have it sat there. New solar panel will sit here, and then I will put a cable through here, and then that links up to the power grid. And then what I will do from here is I will just link this through, so all of this will be cable. Alright, so I'll just do that as I can. Right, we need to put you into power. Damn it. Power. Can I use you? So what we've got here is we can attract the planetoids in using this, which is the carbon deposit. Or we so but we can't use it to get to the big planetoids. So if I want to go to that one, I need rockets. So we do need to build rockets. That, that's fine. I sort of figured, but at the same time it was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. So I'm going to leave that hooked up because that's going to help me when we get to a bit further. Now, do, where do I want to go? Do I want to go to the icy one or do I want to go to that one? Or to boldly go where no man has been before. So currently we're facing that way, north or west. I mean, we could head for the green one. We've ne I've never been to a green one before. And this is Galera 7. Okay, it's got a moss terrain. It's an ele ele ellipsoid. Yeah. Landform is wavy. Size is medium. It's got 9,000 carbon, 15,000 iron, copper deposits. It probably has got more on it as well. So, I don't know. I think we should aim for it. I think we should go for it. So, what I need to do is I need to build a hydrogen um, base, basically, because hydrogen is the way that you make the rock. So, we need to make hydrogen. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it all together now. And then I'll... Okie dokie. So, the first thing I need to do with hydrogen is make hydrogen now unfortunately i don't have a direct like slamming with uh carbon so i've had to basically pick up a load from one of the power stations it's got plenty don't worry it's all good but on the plus side now i can now create hydrogen hydrogen is the byproduct which i need to be able to make the rockets because i need my rocket power because well i need rocket power to go up so that's where I, one of these plans i actually you know what i want to go that way Screw it, I think we'll just go for the green one and we'll be happy. Okay, so the next on the agenda is putting out boosters. Now, I'm going to put these into a pattern where I can just stand in one place and direct my raft wherever I want it to go. So, if I get them all to... Oh, you... Oh, I need more hydrogen. Right, okay, let's get some hydrogen. Okay, that should be enough. Right, let's put out another booster. There we go, chuck one. Oh, I need more hydrogen. Let's get some more hydrogen. I think that's enough now. Is it three? Yes, it is three. Right, okay. We'll put this down here. And then, uh, see, clever. Yep. And we're going to take this out, take out the foundation, and we're going to put these down in here. Oh, uh, that's supposed to be cable. Right, delete these. Put in the cable. And then, they're all controlled by one power node. We're underground and then wire it up to the main grid. Ah, simplicity at its finest. Excellent. So this is a pretty crude system. Each rocket, each booster fires its own different way. And basically from here, I can control the direction of my raft wherever I want it to go. I don't have to run across my raft anywhere. All the direction is just in here alone. Now, if I turn all of them off, obviously I'm not gonna go anywhere. If I just turn one of them off, or sorry, if I just turn one of them on, then we go in that direction. Then you've got the functionality of left, right, up and down with each one of them. So we now have 360 degrees worth of rotation just in that one thing alone. 
that is my target the green eco land that's on the other side of the galaxy so we're gonna go over here we're going to turn this on we need to head west and then when we head west that's where we're going our land of green is at the end of this rainbow so if we move this forwards which is in the middle and then turn it on we're going in that direction we are moving we are moving very slowly <laughs> efficiency 83 percent now what i can do is because this one's facing that way if we pull this one to the left and turn it on and now everything's heading west so we we should be moving um, let me don't click this i don't know that looks a bit like a green thingy from where i'm sitting okay yeah we're we are heading that way so i'm currently looking at it so that big blobby thing up in the sky well in space because there is no sky in space because it's space that's where we're heading so if i now hit on this one and we want this one to burn right because it's facing the other way now we're flying a little bit faster oh yes now what i don't want to do is i don't want to turn this one on because that will just push me backwards and i don't want to do that can you go to sleep for me please thank you very much so yeah we're heading towards that planetoid there when we get there i'll show you what we're doing see you in a minute oh we're slowly getting closer i've never landed on a green planet before this one's got trees it's amazing so we're we're not that far away from it now we've come a long way our four little like motors are doing good enough well two of them because we're only going in one direction but that's where we're heading our new planetoidy home which is all good looks nice though you know it's green i've got to put a dock in here at some point actually saying that it did look really small and when you get closer and closer it does start to get a lot bigger i wonder how long it would take to mine it like just with a pickaxe right we need to start slowing down half speed captain scott all right half speed so what i need to do is i need to make myself like a little i need to make myself an actual loading platform so i need to put a dock on this side and a dock on that side so we actually have to level out the floor on that side as well all stop right okay how far are we at well, that's not too bad i reckon we could land there well no because if actually if we just land right there we can make ourselves a little bay so we need to go down a little bit down a little bit forward a little bit if only i had a little platform to watch this way awesome that's about roughly where i want to be right there so if we nail this a little bit closer so we just go straight forward righty then like a glove right okay cool so what i need to do now is i need to just level this off and then i need to create a dock so that's going to be fun let me just oh look at this uranium copper balsa yeah there's there's enough on here I wonder if there's any gold on here. That'd be handy. Right, let me just mish all this apart. Oh, what a big jump. Five. Let's go! Right, okay, cool. And dock. Oh, yeah. Now we're done. We're cooking Frankie. We are now on a planetoid. You can go to sleep. Good night. All right, so that's cool. So we've got all these elements. All of this stuff is mine. Right. See, is there any gold on here? There's copper, lots and lots of carbine, iron definitely. So there's a lot of iron, there's a lot of uranium. Shame there's no gold. We'll have to just sort of stick that out, unfortunately, I think. But we do need to find some gold, but at the same time, we're all right. So we've got ourselves docked. We're all good. Okay, my next big thing then is I need to start messing around with all of the automation stuff. I need to make it a little bit more varied and a little bit more backwards so I can open up the platform a bit so we can start bringing people on as well. That's another big goal and I'm going to be doing that right about now. Okay, so this is the planetoid that I have come across and I've docked with and I'm going to be honest, it's a nice place. Never been on a green one before, but I have got to be honest, there's lots of stuff on here and I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to get all of this on my base on my own so i've got to try and research into all of that as well but i have had a little bit of a tinker with my base i've moved all my i've moved all my asteroid collectors all up onto that top level compressed all my base up to one end and it works pretty well it doesn't if it does get blocked up it's just a way that it just moves itself around but it now gives me a lot more space down the front i can now get everything here which means with the people that i need to bring in robots and bits and pieces that's all going to fit right here 
And this is where it means that I need more help. I need people. I need robots. I need to basically let everybody do it for me. So this is the new layout of the base. As you can see, it's a little bit backed up at the moment, and that is mainly because, well, I'm producing so much hydrogen. Because I've just let everything go rampant whilst I've been sort of faffing around docking the base and everything else, and really just sort of sorting out this new layer, everything started to backing up. Now, the problem with it is it does create a couple of bottlenecks, so I've got a few little bits and pieces to mess around with to try and make things work a little bit better. But apart from that, we're okay. The problem that I do have at the moment is this machine is so overloaded that nothing can move out of this bit properly because everything sort of gets jammed up. I'll figure it out as I go. The best thing that'll happen is I'll just redo a conveyor belt and try and make it work some other way. We'll get there, it will just take a little bit of time. On the plus side, now I've got time to do robots and human stuff and get everything sorted there as well. So the reason why I want to do this is because I want all those collector robots to go up across the land and go and forge for me and do all this stuff for me so I don't have to. That's the big plan. So we're going to unlock the robotics now, and robotics is cool, this means we can make transport robots, and I think we only need like one right now, because we're only losing, we can get some food for the humans when they turn up. At the moment, not the most important thing to do, but I still do need to do them, and you, go to sleep. Now right here is one of the bottlenecks in this part. So I need iron rods to basically go up that area, but I also need them to go off and do other things as well. So what I need to do is right here, I need to be, I need to create another splitter. And they are just for iron rods, that is. I don't need them for anything else. The reason why is because the iron rods from here will go into the robot factory that's behind me that will later on lead to other things being created. But as long as I can split them off now, it's all good. Now what this also is going to mean is that at some point I'm probably going to end up like doubling production and bringing in more smelters but that's later on when I've got the base expen extended a little bit more and everything's just easier to do. Now I know that automation or autom I know that advanced smelting at some point is coming so it well it's in the it's in the skill tree I've already seen it but this is why I'm doing this now. If I can sort out all these little niggles in this production line then I can sort this out for something a little bit later on as well it would also help all of this getting clogged up the only way that I can unclog this right now is every now and then I have to empty this factory and put it all into the box and that's it's getting a little bit tedious so I've got to try and find a workaround for that as well which actually isn't that hard I've just got to try it and as you can see we've got our factory here so we've messed around with the conveyor belts here that certain things are being pushed into different places and that's working perfectly as well so all oh, good it's coming all together in once you've got like a gist of all of this stuff working properly it does work out a little bit better everything sort of starts flowing and everything starts working better and everything's just nicer to it's just nicer to work on. It may start looking a little bit like Spaghetti Junction, but at the end of the day, at least it works. All right, next on the agenda, if I can think about it, would be docks and bits and pieces, because we need to bring our humans in at some point, and having a dock on this side would help if we're going to moor on a different planetoid at some day in the future. Now, if we put the dock right here, it means on the, we can sort of dock both sides, it's all good. And if I pay my two gold, I can bring in an astronaut and Bob's your uncle. So that's just something I do need to do as well. But I do need to construct them a living quarters as well. Now, I have got a plan for a living quarters. It might just take a little bit of time to finally perfect it because at the end of the day, I need people to be here to advance my science and all the other stuff that I need them to do because that's just something I should be doing. I should be advancing my base so it can do more stuff. <sighs> But there's the joys of this game. It's all about trying to get to that next level and then the next level. Now, my plan for bringing in humans is this big space between the automated uh, asteroid things. Now, I'm going to put in a massive floor across here, which does mean if I do have to extend out the back, I can actually put a, I can put a passageway through those conveyor belts and just make it more of a structure. Make it a little bit more of a wholesome place to be as well. And everything that human needs should go into that little space. After everything I can remember from what I remember from the previous time I tried this, that should be enough. And I did go multiple levels in my last build as well. So that's just something I'm going to do. So, right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off now. I'm going to go and faff around with all this. And then hopefully I'll be able to show you what I've been doing. Because it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we moved on a little bit further. And I've got everything here that humans need. I've got a canteen. I've got some tables. I've got a school. I've got the job application thing. And I've got one solitary bed. 
Well, the reason why is because I can only get like one space person at the moment, so I do only need to focus on one. It says I need to lay the canteen again, so we'll just remove this and then we'll put it back in. And there you go. See, jobs are finished. It's all good. Now, the reason why I've done it all up in this one area is because I can just layer this area with lots and lots of beds and go from there, and that's all right. Now, I do need a transport bot so I can push food from my storage up to the actual canteen. And this is when the this is when I only need one bot. The only reason why I need one bot is because at the moment I've only got one piece of food which means I don't need to do anything else. Later on when it comes to doing like vegetables and everything else, I have a plan for all that and that will just be sorted out when I get round to it. Until then, at the moment, that's the only robot I need. So, I suppose it's time. Now we get to buy. Yeah, we got an astronaut coming. Now, I wonder if it's going to be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter but because the jobs are jobs. Anyone can be whatever they want here as long as it's part of the three criteria that we have here. I need to do a scientist though because we need to start work on like gear two, which is uh, chemistry. So that will be fine. That's a, that's specialist training. So they come up here, they click on the specialist training, they get their job as a scientist, and then they go off and work in the science department, and that's all good. And this is going to keep telling me that I need uh, you go to sleep. I don't need you. And this is where I need let, let, a set of scientists. If I can get at the moment, I, it says I need three. But I'm only going to have one for now, just to see how far this can go. Also, I haven't got enough food for like three scientists. But I will try and get some, some, I will try and get some very, very soon. The reason why is because I have to get quartz, which means I have to go mining for it. The joys of life. And that's why I put the miner up there as well, because I put the miner up here just in case he did find quartz. Also, I want to test how deep these things can go before I have to move them. So it's it's a valid test. It's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to see what happens if you just put one on a rock and just let it go. So that's fun. Hey, my spaceship's here, and I've got a I've got an astronaut. A spaceman has finally turned up on my platform, and it's fantastic. Right, up you go, dude. You need to go upstairs, and you need to go and get yourself a job because you need to work in science. So we need quartz for this stuff, and we haven't got any more quartz. The only place I can get quartz at the moment is from the planet. So we've got the bottle, we've got the bottles in the storage container. The ro the robot is basically transporting the bottles from the storage up to here. This guy's finally learning something, you know, instead of being stuck on a spaceship across all those thousands of years of being frozen in time until you get to a place like this in the middle of nowhere. Oh yay. Okay, I think it's time I got to try and find some quartz. Now it is literally the boulders that are on the surface and I'm pretty sure there's like layers of the rock that's inside the mountains that we have to go and find it as well. So I think I'm going to have to start digging. Now this just means I've got to do a bit of mining. Oh yay. Right I'll go and do that. I'll see you in a second. And here we are digging quartz out the side of a mountain. Fantastic. See, you have to basically dig under it, and this is where I want to get miners in. I'm wondering if the miners can actually do quartz mining as well. So that's something I do want to sort of like look into because I don't want to keep doing this stuff. I want things to do it for me so I can sit back with a pina colada in a paddling pool in my underwear and just let things go. You know, just be happy with the flow, man, and just be like, yo, everything's doing it for me, and I don't need to do it. So yeah, I think I'm just going to be mining for a bit, just like digging out as much as I can, just so I can get enough food for, I want to get three scientists really in here, and then from that point we can just carry on and build and, well, you get the idea, we're just going to be doing stuff and making sure that everything works properly before we all fall apart into a self-decay of society. Alright, let's get ourselves back to the space station and then see what we can do, because at the end of the day we got some quartz on us, and that means I can put it into production so we can get more food for people, and that's what the goal is, to bring people onto the planet well onto my base and then get them fed as well so they don't die on service and you know well keeping them alive is probably the best thing for me so i've got a couple in there as well we've got a load that's being made now my little transport bot's got a job for life and it's fantastic that's my scientist dude and he is going to work and you keep talking to me about foundation blocks so i suppose i should lay five foundation blocks shouldn't i you go to sleep i'll go and do this look we've got a scientist in here and it's all good and look, he's making chemistry. This is what we needed. The iron rods and the dirt are finally going to get used. We are finally doing research and we are finally progressing. And it's just, it feels good now. We've got this far into the game. Things are starting to work better and it's just working a bit nicer. We've got another backup on here, but I don't think this is ever going to change. 
I will have to try and do something about this and it's getting a little bit frustrating if I'm going to be honest okay so I'm going to take all of this and put this back in the box that's fine you're on science my lads excellent fantastic everything's working brilliant okay right so that's that done that drill's still going he has he's not producing anything though has he stopped i don't know what he's doing i mean it's gone down quite far if i'm gonna be honest it's pretty impressive i suppose it's still working i mean there's nothing in it that's why I put this little storage container at the bottom just to see if anything has actually come through. That quartz is the stuff I put in there. That was just me testing the conveyor belt, making sure it works and went to the right place. I'll put that in here as well. Brilliant. My little transport bot's going to have loads of work to do, isn't he? Oh, where's all the ice gone? I suppose it's just where we haven't got a lot of ice around. Is that all that's happening up here? Yeah, there's not as much ice up this way, is there? It's okay, I've got an idea for that. We'll just have to... I mean, that planetoid might have some on it, but, I mean, the asteroids are fairly random, so you never really know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, isn't it? Right, glass roof. Yeah, I chose a glass roof so you could look up at the stars at night and in your canteen and talking to your friends. Well, he hasn't got any friends. He's got one. It's him on his own at the moment. He will have some friends later, though. Don't worry. There, see, transport bot. Job for life! All right, I think, yep, he's working. All good. Right, where can we go on the old tree? Advanced mining. This is what we need to research, and this is what I'm basically waiting for now. Once the, once the guy in the science lab's done, we can now get the mining bots to do all this hard, crazy work for me, and so I don't have to do as much. Now this does mean I'm going to have to sort of like fill around with a conveyor belt section. I've got a plan for it, don't worry, it's all good. But if I put these in here now, that will speed up the amount of research I can do with him. And that should give me enough to do mining bots. I think I'm going to do mining bots in the next episode. So if you guys want to sort of like poddle along with me on that one, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Right. Let's do some foundation repairs, because if not, this thing is not going to shut up about doing this. So I need a few more of these. Yeah, we'll take those, and we'll split those as well. We'll take the rods, we'll take this, and now we're going to do some foundation stuff, so the robot can shut up. And it's, it's mainly just because I've made loads of holes. And I've been making holes because we were fixing cables in. And it's all good. You know, it's it looks pretty, and it's fine. Jobs are good and fantastic. Now he's going to shut up. Oh, okay. We've got other things to do as well. It's fine. Oh, astronauts use various devices to satisfy their build. Yeah, okay. I've done all that. It's fine. It's good. Don't worry about it, mate. It's good. You go to sleep. It's fine. Right. If you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel, and I'll see you all in the cosmos above. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.